and Laura and Adam. I think that was a great movie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh right. my god, Judy, I am so sorry. All right, I got a ton of movies though, actually. Believe it or not. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, start it off with a spy who dumped me. We had a sneak preview Ooh. last week, but uh, this is when it actually releases. I heard it was really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Mila Kunis and uh, Kate McKinnon, two great, really funny act actresses. Um, they play two best friends that get caught up in the spy world and they're just kind of figuring out as they go. I love Mila Kunis. I really do too. Actually. Yeah, she's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited for this one. It's actually rated R, so it's got a little more of that uh, dirtier humor to it, which edgy. I kind of like. Yeah, edgy. edgy. There we go. That's that's a good word for it. Then we have Christopher Robin coming out as well. This is Disney's new movie. Uh, stars uh, uh, Ewan McGregor. It is about how Christopher Robin is actually all grown up now, and the his friends, so Pooh, Tigger, and all of them, actually come back and actually help him find the kid himself again because he's going through some tough times uh, in his adult life. I want to see this movie. I it, love Pooh. It looks. I absolutely love Pooh, and he's the talking bear, <laughs> yeah. and he's like really, really embarrassed because I've seen the trailer for this. Mm -hmm. He's super embarrassed of the fact that the bear keeps talking. Uh, really? He like covers his mouth. Stop talking! I'm still stuck on Laura loves poo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> poo bear! Not poo. God, seriously, do you always have to take it to some dirty level? That's what you said. Poo bear. No, I'm, I'm definitely. Uh, I'm, <laughs> you got me thinking about that. <laughs> Uh, but no, I actually am excited for uh, Chris and Robin as well. It, it, it looks definitely really cute to say. Yes. Um, and then we have Darkest Minds coming out. This one's a little, a little interesting. Baxter? No. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, this one's actually based off a book series. Um, it is, it's based on like a post-apocalyptic world where teens start developing superpowers. So the government actually locks them up because they believe they're a threat. Um, I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, then you play right into the, the, the whole storyline of this movie because it's basically kids against adults. It's it's that kind of uh, that classic uh, storyline. So uh, one girl named Ruby breaks out with a group of her friends, and she starts rebellion of, of teens uh, against the adult world because they're locking them up. Hmm. So right. yeah, it's actually based on a pretty successful book series. So it does look very interesting and uh, definitely look like a good action movie. Something to bring the kids out to. Um, Why don't they just call it what it is, an adults against millennials? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, millennials uh, stop at the age of 18. Actually, like, kids these days aren't actually millennials. They're whole no, they're, there's a whole new thing. Yeah. I know. I don't know what they're called. As millennial, I don't want to get roped into the whole tired eating you know, people. <laughs> <laughs> Not that stupid. No. <laughs> On a real, I hate that Tide and I made everything childproof. I can't get my Tide pods open. I'm not even kidding. I actually leave, once I get it open, I leave it open because it's difficult to get it open every time. I like that, I like that meme. Uh, uh, when I was a kid, we had to eat it right out of the box. <laughs> you, you don't get it? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> All right. Anyway, speaking of, uh, of young kids, another movie coming out is called Eighth Grade. Um, it's about a girl named Kayla going through her last week of 8th grade, which she considered her worst year of all time. Um, so it's really, it's Until really... Until she gets to the next year <laughs> yeah. and realizes that one's, that's the worst year yeah, of all time. the worst year so far. <laughs> right. It's the worst <laughs> year so far. Yeah. But you gotta remember, this is it's about a, a, an adolescent, uh, you know, teenage girl. So yeah, it's it's a very dramatic kind of showing her, a lot of, a lot of critics are saying it's a great representation of what being a, a kid at that age is really like. So it's, it's one of those, I call it an artsy movie, but definitely looks very entertaining, very good. Could be a horror movie. <laughs> All right. Um, and then finally, we have uh, Death of a Nation. Um, I don't, not, I couldn't find too much, terribly much about this movie, but it's a, basically it's a documentary that draws parallels between the Lincoln presidency and the Trump presidency. So what parallels be, can you draw? I don't know. Like I said, I couldn't find. That's the only description I could find for it. So, I guess if you really want to know, go see it, and uh, go see it for yourself, and let me know what you think of it. That's what I, but uh, that's what I got coming out this week. Uh, really, uh, you know, everything, there's a little something for everyone there. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Adam. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. And we'll see you next week. And, uh, sorry about Laura, she's a little... Well, we do have uh, some of the movie passes to give away. It's a pass for two people, and you can use it 